Hi, how are you today? Good, how are you Very doing? well, how are you? I'm very good. I just have to say that I am a huge Winx fan, so oh. I'm very excited. Oh, <laughs> We'd love that to see it. Thank you. Oh, I'm, on, I'm on third episode of season two and I'm loving it already. <gasps> oh, oh my I'm God, so you've got so much to come. So much, I know. much to come. It really oh, ramps up yeah, as well. It does, four. It does. <laughs> Amazing. Congratulations then on the second season. How does it feel returning to the world of Althea? It was so much fun. Oh, it was it so is. nice. It was such a back to, I mean, literally a back to school feeling. Yeah, it was. Um, and it was, I mean, it was a bit weird because we were in the pandemic. So it, yeah. it was kind of a back to school, but don't be too near anyone. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and also like boarding school, because it was like, you can have friends, but only the people who are in the show. Yeah, which it kind of already was like that. <laughs> yeah, to be honest, especially for us. We <laughs> yeah. were like, hey, you want to hang out again for the 17th time in a row? <laughs> I haven't seen you in 10 minutes. <laughs> Please come back. <laughs> yeah, we, we, we became, just attached. We became <laughs> very, very codependent. <laughs> It's been lovely and we haven't changed since. No. Um. <laughs> That's amazing. Um, uh, it's incredible. I imagine there's lots of uh, Winx WhatsApp groups. Oh, there are an insane so number many. of Winx WhatsApp groups. And they have some chaotic names, actually. Because, because also, I feel like any time it's like, oh, only three of us are free for dinner, someone yeah. will be like, well, we must create a WhatsApp group. Yeah. So I feel like the we're all in about seven. Yeah, that's so true. Yeah. <laughs> Um, I just want to start uh, with you, Hannah, because Stella is a different Stella this season than we saw at the beginning of season one. Yes, she is. <laughs> How does it feel playing this new kind of dimension to your character? Oh, uh, it's it's definitely Stella's in her flop, uh, her flop <laughs> period, and that's okay. Um, it's uh, I think it's really nice because she's just reckoning with attempting to be vulnerable for the first time and it's not easy for her for a number of reasons um but i think it really makes her call into question what it's like to not be the one in the position of power anymore and what you can do when you do have that kind of power um which is a really lovely like ethical crisis to play um so it's very enjoyable actually and then she also has still the looming tyranny of her mother oh yeah very much so very much so who is just to be honest with you, I, me, Hannah, very thrilled to get to play that storyline. <laughs> Stella, 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 so Not tough, so tough. tough. Yeah. <laughs> um, and Elliot, Tara's going through her own thing with her family because I feel like she's questioning her dad and his role in Rosalind's kind of um, plan, and uh, that yeah. kind of throws a lot in because she's very all about her family. She is, and I think the the extent to which Tara is a compulsory caretaker is really stretched to its limits this series um and how much her um how much her focus is sort of uh externalized onto other people and she's always checking in on them especially her family but also I think the whole suite she's always sort of really hoping everyone's okay and that's a lovely lovely quality but is it at the expense of a little bit of much needed introspection Mm. absolutely and then she's got flora who's come in distant cousin who just upset that straight away big time because she's a full-time job in tara's eyes tara's like she needs constant watch and actually you know as you'll as the series develops it's sort of up for debate to what extent that is true um mm. and how much that is a bit of a defense ne mechanism of tara's um or just a, an anxiety response i suppose but their relationship was really fun to play it's yeah. really interesting absolutely how was it playing that with Paulina a delight Paulina is an absolute delight yeah. she's so um professional and prepared and calm she's a lovely like grounding presence to have around which I think when you're doing very long days and often very off the wall stories yeah, it's a really yeah. lovely thing to have um so I always loved Love being on set and she's her. really supportive as well. I think coming mm. in as a new person, you hope that people are going to rally around you. But she was literally there being like, hi, I'm ready to be everyone's cheerleader. Yes. Which is a really incredible trait to have. It's so true. I feel like if you have an interaction with Paulina, you will come away feeling like, oh, yeah, I'm feeling a little bit boosted about I'm, myself. I'm a, I'm a good guy. Which is such a nice trait. <laughs> yeah. That's so amazing. I kind of love the relationship you guys have with each other. Oh yeah, we're so lucky. Yeah, it really makes really it makes the show for me massively. Yeah. yeah. Uh, my favorite question to ask people who are in magical TV series or films is, um, how do you guys decide what to do with your hands or your body when you're doing your powers and your magic? Love this for you. <laughs> but we, so we had a movement coach 
come in on season one. Mm. She, mine was on Zoom before Zoom was a thing. Oh, really? Well, not actual Zoom, but like it was virtual oh. because I was still on another show. So we had, or for some reason, it, I missed it, but but she, um, we all have individual movements and we were like, talked through them. Mm. Did you do it in person? No, I just panicked on set. I can't lie. <laughs> Were you not there? Did you I not have a session with the lady? Had, no. Well, maybe I did and I've just blacked it out. <laughs> you might have done. That might be what, I'm so sorry to her. Yeah. Um, that's really unprofessional of me, but... <laughs> um, that's why that's why yours remains screwing a light bulb. Screwing a light bulb. <laughs> <laughs> it's, that is pure panic. It's, um, I'll do the light bulb yeah. and stop and move away out the scene so you've disappeared completely. Yeah, <laughs> yes. exactly, exactly. Which is really hard to take seriously when you're filming it. Bless you, <laughs> have had that so much where you're like halfway through a sentence with me and I'm and just you're like, like... But except you're actually song. there, you're just standing there looking at me. <laughs> yeah, <I> like... <laughs> Amazing. Well, you guys are fantastic. I really love the show. Thank you guys so much for talking with me today. And I oh, I'm so you. glad you like it. What a delight to meet you. Yes. Nice to meet you too. Take care. Bye. Bye. Ladies and gentlemen, you're watching Hey You Guys. Hey You Guys, huh? Hey you guys, Is yeah. that from the Goonies? It is indeed, yeah. Nice. Hey! hey.